infinite, dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating corpse. That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy, sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. I believe Samuel awaits you at the town gates to express I'm that very sentiment. You might have a look in the sanctuary shop. I'm quite certain there is something new in there. You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. That coat has a certain elegance about it. I'm just about to shoot you in the face next day. Much better. I can see why you would want to save that. Any other business to attend to? You need this. They won't be out of business. I mean, uh... Happy shopping!
Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence, and now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one woman, the daughter of the old hero queen. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Brightwall. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope that you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your mother founded. I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day. Not just as our hero, but as our queen. Upon that wall, you'll find the contracts representing the promises that you've made to the... You have done a wonderful thing for those poor people in the mountains. Our hero returns, bringing good tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you want? Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it. Tell you the truth. 
Boulder. We've been blessed, my friends. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day, it will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Ah, Boulder. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them, and promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. You'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? No. <laughs> he couldn't be happier. You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now. Couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished. There's new makeup available if you want to make yourself prettier. Your face does look more striking. Lovely. Stronger in those gloves. What an interesting effect. 